The doctor is in. Today, it's pediatrician Dr. Courtney Sauls from Ascension St. John Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine. Now, this is National Mental Illness Awareness Week, and next week is World Mental Health Day. Thank yes. you so much for being here Thanks today. Thanks for having me. Well, how pervasive are mental health issues among teens? Yeah, so very common, especially since pandemic times have, have been happening. We have a couple of statistics. Um, anxiety affects over 2.5 million teenagers. Um, uh, depression, um, uh, about the same ADHD, which is attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, about 6 million children. So it's very pervasive. And I have one statistic, almost 44% of teenagers questioned were experiencing anxiety or depression through the pandemic. So it's definitely on the rise and something we see often in our pediatric clinic. Now we talked during the break that in 2022, there's so many different realms of mental health illness with teens and different influences, making it challenging for parents, but yes. what can parents look out for? Yeah, so there are a lot of different things that affect teenagers, social media, being really connected with the world, peer relationships. Um, so if you're noticing that your teenager is not wanting to do regular activities that they used to love and they're not sleeping well at night or their appetite has really changed or they're having a hard time focusing on their schoolwork or, or tasks at home, those are going to be some big um, external signs that they're struggling and also just pay attention on their mood. Are they still chatty like they used to be or are they kind of more subdued and kind of taking keeping to themselves those can be some big signs of depression in teenagers now it's probably common for parents to think oh well they're just tired right but I'm, I'm guessing it's probably a concerning if it stays like that for an extended period of time. Exactly. So at least a couple of months of those symptoms over and over every day, that's going to be a big red, big red flag. You know, teenagers are stretched to the limit these days between their activities, school, sports. Um, it's normal to be tired, but it's not normal to be so sluggish they can't do their regular activities, sleeping all the time, um, and not wanting to focus on their schoolwork or even things that they love. What how, what role has social media played in the, all of this? Oh, it's huge. I mean, we've seen an increase in teenage um, suicide, depression, anxiety, more than double fold in the last two decades. And that kind of coincides with the introduction of social media. There, It's much easier to be mean behind the keyboard, um, gives uh, a lot of stress to teenagers. Those peer relationships are huge. And so when they're exposed to a lot of that during those crucial teenage years, that can make it really challenging. Now, there may be some hesitancy for parents, but when should parents seek out professional help? Yeah, as soon as they've started noticing those symptoms lasting for a few months or more in their teenagers, never a bad idea to come into the pediatric clinic. We have evaluations we can do and just have a conversation on all of the things we can get children connected to that can help um, make them healthy and whole. It's our biggest goal, and that includes the mind as well. Well, thank you, Courtney, so much for being here. You're Very welcome. informative information there. Now, if you or someone you know is dealing with a mental health problem, help is available 24 hours a day. And here are the numbers from some local resources in the area.